we got done using the mini phaser on CC, and when I was using the mini phaser, I felt little bumps on her, which is rain run. It's not the end of the world, but we are going to brush her, and I'm going to get a spray that we mix up because we do have a lot of horses on property, so we don't want to use the good stuff because we go through it rather quickly. The good stuff that we found is uh, Spurs Big Fix, but like I said, this bottle will be falling through rather quickly if we treated all the horses. We had a lot of rain the last several days, so um, that's what brings the bacterial infection out on the skin. So we use baby oil, mouthwash, tea tree oil, and that's pretty much it. It does work. It doesn't work as quick as what the Spurs Big Fix does, but it does get the job done. So I'm gonna spray her and then I'm gonna brush her off again. Like I said, I already ran the mini phaser over her and I'm just gonna, actually I should rub it in first with my hand. So I get all over her skin and you don't wanna to press too hard because if it's bad, she'd be flinching around and not liking what I'm doing to her. So I'm gonna rub it all over her and get her good and clean. And then come down her legs because I see she has her legs a little bit. So. It's not the end of the world. It's just uncomfortable for the horse. Um, CC hasn't been used for about a month and a half now. Uh, we're still dealing with some lameness, but she was donated to us, so she did come with some minor um, injuries. But knock on wood, we've had her for, I don't know, about two, oh, CC's leaving. So we've had her for about two and a half years now, and this is really the first time that she needed a long time off. Um, but she's one of the favorites for the kids, so hopefully we get her back into the program rather quickly. Um, but it's important to take care of your horse, and this is what we're doing today and several days after this. Thank you for uh, checking in. Like and subscribe if you want to learn more about our program.